Hello guys and welcome to this quick Android tutorial. My name is George and today we're going to learn how to make a new Android application project using Android Studio and we're going to deploy it in our emulator over here so we can see how it works. Now uh, click on create project and the first thing that you will see here is a window that is more like a form that you will need to fill out uh, for your application. Now the first um, field over here is application name so you can go ahead and type in uh, the name for your application for example I can type in my hello world application my hello world app and we can also select a module name which is basically a directory that will contain all the source code and you can name this app uh, that will be alright now uh, the package name is a set of directories where all the source code will be actually stored and it basically um, is made of um, like uh, three parts uh, for example the com part means that you are a company you can also type in org uh, like uh, in for in domains for example so I will leave a uh, com and then the, the last uh, section will be app that will be application this could be a random name and in the middle you're going to type in the name of your company or your own name for example uh, I will type in beta coding which is the name for my channel uh, so go ahead and subscribe uh, okay now I have com .beta coding app. this is my package name you should never leave example in here and I'm sorry for that, that's my dog, it's getting crazy and, and you should always start uh, with com, org or whatever uh, okay now after that you will be required okay break location you can leave that uh, just as it is and, and you will also need to specify the minimum SDK required to run this application now uh, for default I have uh, the API number 7 which is uh, Android Eclair is 2.1 uh, 2.1 however I want my application to be compatible with uh, tablets and smartphones both so I will set up the minimum required SDK to Android.4.0 uh, which is a uh, ice cream sandwich and the target SDK will be Android KitKat and I will be also compiling using Android KitKat because I already have that uh, installed with my SDK manager now uh, after that you can leave uh, everything uh, just as it is and click on next now uh, another thing that okay the application name for most apps begins with an uppercase letter I forgot that so I will just type okay my hello world okay uppercase now we're all set now go ahead and click uh, next and you will now have a, a, a form for filling out uh, your launcher icon now this is in interesting uh, I recommend you to uh, create an image I mean uh, for example in Photoshop or uh, GIMP or Illustrator or whatever uh, so you can import it over here you just click here in these three dots and you can uh, select uh, some um, image that you have so you can uh, put it over here uh, another thing is that you can also create like clip arts uh, using this wizard or you can create a, a launcher icon based on text by clicking on text over here uh, we're going to leave the, the default image we're not going to crop, shape or whatever you wanna do uh, you just uh, leave it like that, click on next and in here you will be um, offered like this template uh, black activity, full screen activity or master detail flow uh, basically what an activity is, is like the screen uh, of your application this will be like the layout and a screen of your application so go ahead and select blank activity and click on next now the activity is um, basically is a java class so the activity name which is main activity will be like a java class there will be a dot java file the layout is like the 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 layout that you can define using uh, the xml uh, language uh, inside Android you can define with uh, XML uh, the different uh, objects uh, you can find in your 
a graphical user interface. Uh, so this is basically how you define those objects. This will be like uh, it's very similar to HTML. Uh, so don't worry about that. And the activity that is the Java class is like the backend uh, programming side. So you can say that the activity will be uh, like the developer or de or developing uh, like for example the program. Uh, what uh, will do? Would you can handle events uh, for buttons or whatever? And the layout will be like the design uh, part uh, for your. Android uh, program. Now the fragment is uh, a little, uh, a little bit more com com complicated uh, subject. However, we will just say that it is a part of your activity. This is like a part of your activity. You cannot, okay, you cannot leave uh, this uh, blank. Uh, so we will have to leave uh, a name, for example, fragment main. Uh, but basically the fragment goes inside the activity class so keep that in mind uh, so we can later explain it a little bit better now go ahead and click on finish and just wait uh, for Android Studio to build your project uh, we're configuring the project, resolving dependencies so go ahead and wait a little bit and we'll, we will see the project uh, just being created okay just wait, wait, this is really boring uh, but whatever okay now here is the uh, the hello world application project as uh, you can see that is already created and um, what you see in the left side is like your project uh, structures as you can see this is like the directories we have in every Android project as this is your first project you need to understand some things uh, the source directory and this is specifically for Android Studio uh, because it changed a little bit uh, when you develop applications uh, using the Eclipse and ADT plugin um, however since we're using Android Studio what you need to understand is that inside this source directory over here we will find all the required source code uh, to develop our application and this is inside uh, a, a bigger directory that is called uh, module which we defined uh, a little bit earlier this is app I don't know if you remember that there is the app uh, module and here is the application you can see here build this is where some build files uh, will be stored we don't need to change that just ignore it and inside the source we will find the main uh, directory java uh, the resources directory the android manifest file which uh, we'll be explaining um, later in these tutorials now uh, what i want you to see over here uh, it's uh, two files and they are actually open uh, this is the fragment um, underscore main dot xml file and the main activity dot java file now these two files we can find them over here in the java directory we can find the main activity which is uh, a java class which you can see over here that extends an object called activity and the activity is basically as i said uh, an a screen in the android application it's like the base screen uh, so you need to keep that in mind and in inside this activity we also have a, another class that is a placeholder fragment and this extends another object that is called a fragment and a fragment uh, basically goes inside uh, an activity and in that activity we will have views and views are basically a graphical user interface uh, elements such as a text view uh, like this uh, default hello world uh, thing you can see over here and uh, to see those uh, graphical user interface elements you will need to see this XML file now to find uh, this XML file we will need to go to the resources folder which is res over here open it and we will find a directory called layout and this is where or um, all our layouts and graphical user interface uh, things and objects and buttons or uh, views and whatever we can find them uh, over here 
Now we have an activity main uh, XML, which uh, is an empty uh, shell over here. You can see it has uh, nothing, just a layout. And we have this fragment uh, main XML, which has uh, a layout and a text view object. And the text view is this text uh, object uh, that we see over here. It says text hello world, and it comes from a variable. Now this uh, add string hello world. This is a, a variable defined in another file that we will see later. However, you can type in hey, this is my first app and you will see the change uh, of this text over here you can see just like that and that is basically the graphical um, user interface that you can define using the XML and the main activity class and the placeholder fragment is basically like the programming side uh, of this program so that is all you need to understand right now uh, this is a really basic uh, Hello World application that comes uh, well, like for default. But you can change this text, and you can see uh, that is reflected right on this uh, phone over here. Now you can run this application. We're going to run so we can see uh, the result of this uh, text uh, displayed on the emulator back here. Now let's just wait until uh, under Studio build our application and we can now select our emulator device, clicking OK. Just wait a little bit more. OK, it's loading. And we should see it now hey this is my first application so I hope you guys like this tutorial uh, as you can see Android may be a little bit complex at the beginning however later we will see that it is not actually that complicated it is uh, a really uh, nice framework uh, to work with and uh, we will be understanding what uh, layout is and what uh, uh, an activity is and how we can uh, just uh, play uh, with these uh, resources. We would uh, make some applications and we will be integrating for example layouts with activities and um, so we can make for example a button that you can click on it and see some message or something. So I hope you guys like the tutorial. If you did uh, please click on the like button or leave a comment in the section below and that's it. We'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.